learning outcomes. First, differentiate between regionalization and globalization. Second, explain how regions are formed and keep together. Third is discuss the advantages and disadvantages of regionalism and Fourth, identify the factors leading to a greater integration of the Asian region. Governments, associations, societies, and groups form regional organizations or network to cope with the challenges of globalization. Globalization has made people aware of the world in general, but it has made Filipinos more cognizant of specific areas such as Southeast Asia. Regionalism is often seen as political and economic phenomenon. It can be examined in relation to identities, ethics, religion, ecological sustainability, and health. Regionalism is also a process and must be treated as an emergent, socially constituted phenomenon, which means regions are not naturally or given. Instead, they are constructed and defined by policymakers, economic actors, and even social movements. And the lesson will conclude by asking where all these regionalisms bring us as nation members and the citizens of the world. Countries, Regions, and Globalization According to Edward D. Mansfield and Helen V. Milner, state that economic and political definition of regions vary, but there are certain basic features that everyone can agree on. And when we say a group of countries, located in the same geographically specified area or are an amalgamation of two regions or a combination of more than two regions organized to regulate and oversee flows and policy choices, we are referring it to a region. For example, of regions are Europe region which is the Central and Eastern Europe region the Asian region, the African region, the Mediterranean region, the Middle East region, and the America region. Those regions are made up of nation or countries. Next, when we say regional concentration of economic flows, it is the process of dividing an area into smaller segments called regions and we are talking about regionalization and one of the most obvious example of regionalization is dividing the nation into different states or provinces and businesses use this regionalization as a management tool to ensure the needs you need in a particular area are met next is when we say a political process characterized by economic policy, cooperation, and coordination among countries, we mean this as a regionalism. Regionalism meaning to say it is a political ideology, which it seeks to increase political power and influence the people of one or more subnational regions. So, it focuses on the development of political or social system based on one or more regions. So, those are the definition that is important to the topic which is the world of regions. Countries respond economically and politically to globalization in various ways. Some are large enough and have a lot of resources to dictate how they participate in global integration. For example, China offers its cheap and huge workforce to attract foreign businesses and expand trade with other countries. Same with the United States and Japan. And other countries 
make up for their small size by taking advantage of their strategic location. For example, Singapore and Switzerland. They are small countries that compensate for their lack of resources by turning themselves into financial and banking hubs. And despite its small size, Singapore is the security gateway between the East and the West as the entrance to the South China Sea. In most cases, however, countries form a regional alliance for they believe that there is strength in numbers. An alliance is an international relation that is a formal agreement between two or more states for mutual support in case of war. Contemporary alliances provide for combined action on the part of two or more independent states. They are generally defensive in nature, so obligating allies to join forces if one or more of them is attacked by another state or coalition. For example, the Alliance of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization or NATO is for a military defense that is the most widely known for defense group formed during the Cold War when several Western European countries plus the United States agreed to protect Europe against the threat of the Soviet Union. Another alliance is the Warsaw Pact. The Soviet Union responded by creating its regional alliances consisting of the Eastern European countries under Soviet domination. So, countries also form regional organizations to pool their resources, get better returns for their exports, as well as expand their leverage against trading partners. For example, the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries or OPEC was established in 1960 by Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela to regulate the production and sale of oil. This regional alliance flexed its muscles in the 1970s when member countries took over domestic production and dictated crude oil prices in the world market. So, OPEC's success convinced nine other oil-producing countries to join them. It was Qatar, Indonesia, Libya, the United Arab Emirates, Algeria, Nigeria, Ecuador, Gabon, and Angola. Moreover, some countries form regional blocs to protect their independence from the pressure of superpower politics. The Non-Aligned Movement or NAM was created by the President of Egypt, Ghana, India, Indonesia, and Yugoslavia in 1961. To pursue world peace and international cooperation, human rights, national sovereignty, racial and national equality, non-intervention, and peaceful conflict resolution. And finally, economic crisis compels country to come together. For example, the Thai economy collapsed in 1996 after foreign currency speculators and troubled international banks demanded that the Thai government pay back its loan. So, there was a rapid withdrawal of foreign investment that bankrupted the economy of Thailand. This crisis spread to other Asian countries as their currency were devalued and foreign investment were left in hurry. So, the International Monetary Fund, or IMF, tried to reverse the crisis. Still, it was only after the ASEAN countries, which are Malaysia, Thailand, Brunei Darussalam, Indonesia, Philippines, Laos, Singapore, Cambodia, Myanmar, and Vietnam, along with China, Japan, and South Korea, agreed to establish an emergency fund to anticipate a crisis that's crisis that the Asian economy stabilized. The crisis made ASEAN more unified and coordinated. Non-state regionalism. It is not only states that agree to work together in the name of a single course or because communities also engage in regional and it's called new regionalism. New regionalism a tiny associations that include no more than a few actors in focus on a single issue or huge continental unions that address a multitude of common problems from territorial defense 
to food security, to representing them to rely on the power of individuals, non-government organizations or NGOs, and to link up with one another in pursuit of a particular goal. Identified with reformists who shared the same values, norms, institution, and system that exist outside of the traditional established mainstream institution and system. Some organization partnered with government to initiate social change. For example, the ASEAN issued its Human, De Human Rights Declaration in 2009 but the regional body left it to member countries to apply the declaration's principles as they see it fit where the democratic rights are limited. In many ASEAN countries, new regionalism organizations use this official declaration to pressure these governments to pass laws and regulations that protect and promote human rights. Other regional organizations dedicate themselves to specialized causes. First, Rainforest Foundation. It is established by activists across Central and South America that aim is to protect indigenous peoples in the forest in Brazil, Guyana, Panama, and Peru. Second is Regional Interfaith Youth Networks. This is formed by the young Christians across Africa, the Middle East, Americas, and Caribbean. The aim of this organization is to promote conflict prevention, conflict resolution, this is location in sustainable development. Migrant Forum, this is another regular NGO and tradable unions which is community to protect and promote the rights and welfare of the migrant workers. Those are examples of regional organization. These organizations primarily lies in their moral standing and their qualities to combine lobbying with pressure politics. Unfortunately, most of them are where live in and so this places them at a disadvantage in when dealing with their official counterparts who have large state funds to their impact in global politics. However, it is limited. The contemporary challenges to regionalism. Today, regionalism faces multiple challenges, the most serious of which is the resurgence of militant nationalism and populism. The refusal to dismantle NATO after the collapse of the Soviet Union, for example, has become the basis of the anti-NATO rhetoric of Vladimir Putin in Russia. The relationship of the United States with NATO became problematic after Donald Trump demonized the organization by leeching off American military power without giving anything in return. Perhaps, European Union is the most crisis-ridden regional organization today. The continuing financial crisis of the region forces some countries to consider leaving the Union to gain more flexibility in their economic policy. Asian members continue to disagree over the extent to which member countries should sacrifice their so sovereignty for the sake of regional stability. Asian countries also disagreed over how to relate to China with the Philippines unable to get the other countries to support its condemnation of China's occupation of the West Philippine Sea. Philippines and Thailand demanded that the other countries democratized adopt a more open attitude towards foreign criticism. A final challenge pertains to differing visions of what regionalism should be for. Western governments may see regional organization not simply as economic formations but also as instruments of political democratizations. On the other hand, non-Western and developing societies may have a different view regarding globalization, development, and democracy. C. 
Singapore, China, and Russia see democracy as an obstacle to the implementation and deepening of economic globalization. Democracy's stages procedures must therefore give way to efficiency. This is the conclusion about our topic. The countries that form organization will find difficult to deny or reject all forms of global economic integration. It will also be hard for them to turn their backs on the regions. For example, if the UK leaves the European Union or EU, it must continue to trade with its immediate neighbors and will, therefore, be forced to implement many EU rules. None of this is to say that regional organization will remain unaltered. European Union or EU is an organization formed by European countries. The history of regionalism shows that regional associations emerge as new global concerns arise. The future of regionalism will be contingent on the immense change in global politics that will emerge in the 21st century.